Carly, my two favorite things, Dr. Pepper, free for a year, <laughs> Spirit Halloween's coming back. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. I have orange on the map too. Uh, we but love it. That doesn't mean fall, that means heat. So we've got your heat watches and warnings. There's a heat advisory in place today. That heat advisory is going to be until 6 p.m. So we'll be feeling the heat pretty much between noon and 6 p.m. That's when I intend to say, try to limit your strenuous activity outdoors because look at this, right at noon, that's when we get into the mid 90s, low to mid 90s so 93 degrees in Corpus Christi your heat index starts to near 110 so it'll be around 106 by 2 p.m. 108 4 p.m. 110 for your feels like temperature it is going to be a hot one out there it's still sunny lots of sunshine heating up the atmosphere heating up our air and just making it feel so blah outside right so there's a heat advisory today to alert you that this heat can quickly turn dangerous because we are anticipating heat index values at or above 110 Taking a look at the heat index forecast, I think we'll peak around 111 in Corpus Christi, 112 Robstown, 113 in Kingsville, 109 through Sint and Referia, 110 though for Mathis and Alice for your feels like temperature this afternoon. High temperatures in your heat index, they're going to stay right around 110, not only today, but well into next week. We do see our high temperature lower a little bit, but notice the heat index doesn't lower too much. So we're going to see a little bit more moisture and a little bit more humidity heading into next week. Week. So here's what we have going on in our upper wind and pressure pattern. Also, I've added in the chance of rain as well. So what you see, this is the Bermuda High. It's a big, strong steering system that that takes into account the tropics. This was a tropical wave we were watching. It is already crossing to the Pacific as about a 30% a low chance of developing into a system, but it will stay in the Pacific Ocean south of Mexico. This is a new area of a tropical wave that we are watching that has a pretty Pretty high chance. Well, right now the National Hurricane Center gives it a medium chance of developing over the next seven days. But look, as we head into Monday, you can tell this low is starting to get pretty organized as it approaches the Caribbean. This is the system that I see having a better shot at developing as it approaches those Antilles I islands, uh, especially this is going to be Puerto Rico right here. So it has a chance of strengthening as it approaches this direction. Now, right now, these high pressure systems are weakening as they head in as we head into next week, but we're still pretty hot. So this high pressure right over Texas. However, see this little bump in in the winds as well. So this is a little trough that we are seeing and this little trough does indicate we could see a little bit more moisture and a low chance for some showers and even a thunderstorm. I think our sea breeze opportunity goes up a bit more on Tuesday because of this little bump in the atmosphere. But overall, it's this system we will be watching. So again, the high pressure systems break, they weaken, and it has a pretty decent shot at turning north. But that's something that we are going to be keeping a close eye on. For now, keep in mind these tips for handling the heat, drinking water, applying sunscreen, wearing hats, light color loose fitting clothing and limit that strenuous activity. Like I said, that heat advisories from noon to 6 p.m. So you're going to want to consider that when you're making outdoor plans or working in the outdoors. Make sure you're staying hydrated as well. Temperatures staying in the 90s. Wind mostly out of the east southeast. Still fairly light, but it does pick up into next week and we see a low chance for a few more storms on Tuesday.